Hello world, welcome to LTS, my name is Steve. Today I want to dive into why out of all the religions in the world that Christianity has to be the right one. But before I begin, I ask that if you like this video and channel to please not forget to hit the like and subscribe button. So all that being said, here we go. Ever since the beginning of time, mankind has been in search of God, whether that God be real, man-made, and even some who made themselves a God. Praise me! Praise me! Regardless of the case, if we go to Google and look up how many religions there are in the world, they state that there are roughly 4,000 religions in the world. Right. So that being the case, why are all of these religions and beliefs is Christianity the true faith that we should be following? In all honesty, I could probably do an entire book on this subject. But the simple answer is this. Every religion and faith relies on us, you, me, in order to get to heaven or paradise. Some religions will say that you have to do a lot of prayers or do enough good deeds or even go on a long journey. And even atheists share in this because atheists are essentially making themselves their own God because they're the ones that dictate their own reality. But Christianity is the only logical faith because it reveals to us who we are and that's corrupted sounds awfully harsh i mean most of us aren't committing heinous crimes and are just everyday people that if someone were to ask if we're good that i'm sure that our answer would be i'm a reasonably good person and from a societal standard that's probably the case but when we're talking about god a god should be a perfect supreme leader that knows everything everywhere at every time but most importantly a god has to be one that hates injustice in every form and if we're honest with ourselves none of us can stand before an almighty god and say that i'm innocent of any wrongdoing i mean we all fail so if that's the case why should a holy god allow for us to enter into his perfect kingdom and corrupt it with our sin because i'm awesome And the next question would be, does doing good deeds free us of our sin? To which the answer would be no, even though we would like to think so. Let me use an extreme example. Adolf Hitler, a man who was responsible for the deaths of thousands. But let's say in his spare time, he fed the needy, took care of his family, and adopted orphans. Does this change his crimes? No everyone is still going to call him a murderer because sin can't be changed. It's like being dirty. You can't wash off dirt by doing good deeds. You have to take a shower and let the soap and water do its work. And so when it comes to us everyday people, we lie. So that makes us a liar. We steal small things like a pen. So that makes us a thief. And the list just goes on and on. And so Christianity highlights this with the Ten Commandments. Because every single one of us has broken a commandment or more, the Ten Commandments highlight the fact that we're not worthy of God and the heaven that he has to offer. No way! And no faith out there does that. It's always that you can potentially earn salvation by doing something. When Christianity says that there is nothing that you can do. It's the very reason why the Bible says in Galatians chapter 2 verses 16. That know that a person is not justified by the works of the law. But by faith in Jesus Christ. So we too have put our faith in Christ Jesus. That we may be justified by faith in Christ. And not by the works of the law because by the works of the law no one will be justified you see god in his mercy sent his son jesus so that if we repent from our sins not merely saying we're sorry but turning away from our sin we then put our sins onto jesus's shoulders who in turn went to the cross for us because sin has a cost and the debt has to be paid by someone the bill comes due 
because the scripture says that the wages of sin is death. So sin can't just disappear on its own. But every other faith out there would have you believing that this is the case. And this is the very reason why out of all the religions and faiths of the world that Christianity is the only faith that gets mocked and ridiculed. Because the world says to live your truth. But the Bible says in Romans chapter 14 verses 8, For if we live, we live for the Lord. Or if we die, we die for the Lord. Therefore, whether we live or die, we are the Lord's. But the world would have you living for no one else but yourself. And if we think about it, didn't someone else try that kind of life? And it didn't turn out so well for him either. Boom, mic drop. And with that being said, we come to the end of another video. I release a new video every month, so I'll see you then. But before I go, I ask that if you like this video and channel, to please not forget to hit the like and subscribe button. And so until next time, I pray God's blessing on you and that you'll always seek him first. I'm a reasonably good person.